Silence on set. Shh. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Info Vlogs. I'm Kiara and today the weather is gloomy because we're in the east. That's why someone is here with me today. Hi, right, okay. Can you not call East Europe <laughs> gloomy? It's throughout Singapore today is raining, okay? But today because of gloomy weather, mm -hmm. we're going to have a great time having some hot pot. Yeah. <laughs> Other than hot pot, right? We're also going to show you some less well-known hot pot hacks. Yes. Uh, with cross fingers, we hope it works. So first up, Hai Ti Let's go. Hi Tila at Century Square and hey, this place needs no introduction. Uh. Yeah, this is one of like the most popular hot pot spots in the world. So today we're gonna share with you some tips and tricks that you already know and we're gonna test yeah. out whether is it really good. And tips and tricks that you don't know so that you can try the next time you're here. Or not try. In <laughs> case it fails. We already ordered our soup bases and the food. So we got tomato soup and mala soup in like a quart pot, that means four. And then the rest right is just two water. <laughs> but you can wash your utensils or try to make the soup base like us. But it's cheaper than just getting right two like soup bases, like the duo pot. Yeah, you say about 550 eh. We're gonna use the 550 for more meat. And to buy bubble tea later. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> if you have ever made soup base in your life, right, you probably need some something right that produces flavour, you know what I mean? The stock. Yeah, like you need some like vegetables or what, but then like the only vegetable there I can find right is like celery. So I just take the celery, pickled radish and carrot. It's just the side dish but I just take for fun. Then I take some like white pepper, garlic, spring onion, beef sauce and some like chilli oil. Hopefully it will taste nice. For mine, I'm doing a duanjang jjigae. <laughs> First when I walked to the sauce station, I saw soybean sauce. Then, hey, ah. can do some Korean inspired stuff. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna flavor it with their beef sauce, beef cubes that you said was really good. Mm. Mm. Soy sauce, sesame seeds, garlic, and also a trio of vegetables coriander, parsley, and celery. Oh my lord. Oh my god, it looks like a stew, eh. As we let our soup boil through, mm. right? Let me tell you about the land of free stuff, Hai Di Lao. <laughs> you sit down, they give you like a warm towel and then. Yeah. A lens wet white, zip lock bag for your phone. And also like hair ties. And if you're feeling cold right, you can actually ask for like a scarf. <laughs> you can even like change your phone screen cover. And if you're a kid, they even give you like a doll. Oh no, I just done to give you the doll yeah. eh! Yeah. Cheers. Mine tastes legit but it doesn't taste like doing junk chicken. Ah, okay! Mine not nice. <laughs> Mine like... Sweet. I don't know why, maybe I ate too much See? carrot. I like sweet stuff. You, you try, try. Oh, your one like quite legit. Yes. Like, but it's like, it's not, it's not, um, the <laughs> Yeah, it's not, but it's still okay lah. Huh? Yeah, not bad. My sucks. Eh. I don't know what yours tastes like really. What? Sweet beef soup with Ajinomoto. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like it just tastes off. You have this really creative hack that is inspired by your favorite item in Hai Pila. Yes, basically I love this fortune bag that they sell. Getting inspiration from that, right? We decided to buy the fried bean cut skin and the fresh mashed prawn. So we're gonna basically stuff the skin with the prawn. Ooh, so cute! Oh my goodness! Ayo, yo. Now let's try our prawn pockets. Yeah. Along with our favorite soup bases in Hai Ti Lao. I love the tomato soup here because it's sweet, it's slightly sour and tangy. It's very refreshing also. Then I like drink non-stop one, you know. What about my you? favorite is the mala because... Mm. Uh, yeah, mala is just life. Uh, and I like that you can actually drink the mala soup here. Mmm! Nice eh. Good job! Woo! The tofu skin is like soaked up the soup. So it's super nice and the prawn is like damn fresh so it's damn like... It has a bite to it. Mm. You know that full portion, half portion thing, right? You yes. think that because the prices are cut in half, you get half the portion, but no, there are two items on the menu, right? They will give you more when you order half exactly. portions. For the fried tofu skin, right? The full portion is seven pieces, mm -hmm. half is four pieces. Eh. And the pork ball, right? This is the half portion. So the half portion is eight, the full portion is 12. And it's only two items on the menu. So yeah. I think it's like an Easter egg thing, you know? Hai yeah. want to give you a little trick somewhere along the menu that you don't actually really know unless mm. you really know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good eh. It makes 
the soup even better, you know why? Exactly. It's deep fried beforehand, so it's very oily also. Yeah. So it makes the broth really rich. So next, let's head to the more pricey stuff, which is meat platters. So today we got the Iberico pork. Whoop! Swish, swish. It's like much leaner than pork belly, but there's still fat, so there's still some like fatty texture, like melt in your mouth. And when it melts, right, it just fills up your mouth with all the porky flavour. So on the menu, they actually have this like set menu kind of thing. So it comes with a portion of meat and a assortment of vegetables. Mm. So the meat, right, you can choose from like fish, chicken, beef or pork. And then the vegetables, you have shiitake mushroom. Inoki mushroom, lettuce, cabbage, tofu, and black fungus, and even a very nice like orchid to like you know pai mei that kind of thing. This is a half portion of meat. So if you order normally, right, it's already twelve dollars. Mm. So think of it as you top up four dollar more for like so many vegetables and stuff. Swish swish up, swish swish up. I feel like the texture for the beef is not as melty as the pork but mm. flavour-wise, this wins hands down. Okay, now that our pork ball is cooked, let's yeah. taste test it. That's a damn good pork ball. It has been soaking in the broth for quite some time, right? But it's like not hard, a bit silky. Mm. It has that minced meat texture. Mm. Unlike the good meatball from the supermarket, it's very bouncy. Yeah, yeah. Like they added a lot of fake stuff. This one is like all natural. Okay, it's never a complete Hai Di Lao experience, right? Without some noodle dancing. Noodle dancing? <laughs> oh! oh. La. <laughs> oh my god, am I doing it? <laughs> oh! Hey, Ellie, look at Ellie! No, no! <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, Ellie! I feel like, again, just like many of their dishes, Got different texture in one item, eh? Yeah. Like, I thought that he do, 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 like that is for fun, right? But no, eh? It gives the edges of the noodles a bit of a very light, light fluffy, fluffy texture. What do you think about this Hai Di Lao experience today? A bit different, ah? Uh. Yeah, I, I feel like every Hai Di Lao experience, right? I will always enjoy it. But I think today we tried a lot of different things that I won't normally try. Now, I will know what tips to make my Hai Di Lao experience better the next time, lah. Mm. Okay, so now we are at Goro Goro at Tampanese One and it's another hot pot! Ooh. Look at the weather outside, rainy eh? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> but this one's different because it's like a steamboat and they also have like cooked food already. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Goro Goro means? Is it Korean for monster? Because I see the monster <laughs> icon right beside the name. Good guess, but no. Someone told me, right? Goro Goro is actually the sound that your stomach makes when it's hungry. Oh. Like, you know, oh, grrr, 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 grrr. Yeah. <laughs> Cute, right? So, for this place, we got three soups. One is the bakute, mm. the ginseng, and the collagen soup. Mm. Okay, let's have a taste of the broths first. It is not bad. <laughs> it's a bit different, ah. I think the taste is there, mm. but it's not that kind of very thick kind of collagen based soup. It's a bit milky, and you can taste a bit of the chicken flavor. What now? Okay, I feel like I've been staring at it, and it's been staring at me. And it's the bakute. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. It's the like one karate garlic. shop. Like, bam! <laughs> in, in your throat. Actually, it's not ba, it's ba ba because bah. it's pepper and garlic. Okay, last but not least, let's try the ginseng. Yeah. It's really ginseng. <laughs> yeah, this is not my kind of soup. Yeah, it's not my kind of oh. But I feel like my parents would for sure love it. I guess if you eat steamboat before, you would know to always put in those kind of like very hard to cook vegetables first, mm. like lotus or like potato. People always think like, oh, vegetables cook very fast. You put it last better. Yeah. But I love how vegetables actually brings out a very naturally sweet flavor to the soup. There's also a lot of mushrooms and a lot of like different balls. They also have seafood. They have fish slices, so let me put some. Oh yeah. I love eating fish soup. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, since you already have this collagen broth, I'm going to show you another hack. Okay, get some fish and the soup, right? And then, how, you know how when you eat yu tang, right? Mm. Then they always put this fried egg on top. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a very sweet and oily bit. Yeah, and I noticed when we were taking the chicken namban, right? Then they on top have this like crispy egg thing. Oh. So you can just put it in your soup. How's it? Legit. Ah, okay. It's damn nice. This here, um. right? Here they have la mian. 
<laughs> so should we do another like noodle related challenge? So why don't we do like some dry noodles? Okay. Then we let each other try our own concoction of sauce. My sauce is a very typical sauce that you'll get at like this kind of ramen place. Mm. Basically it's just soy sauce and vinegar and oil with chives and garlic and a hint of black pepper. So for my sauce, I tried to do something a bit like scallion oil also. So I put scallion, then sesame oil, and then lao gan ma. <laughs> How is that scallion sauce? Just add a bit of soy sauce to taste also. Uh, I keep drooling. <laughs> <laughs> eee, then I still have to eat the food you make. Eh. Can I just talk about the appearance of mine? Like, dude, it looks so... So a Wait. No, you guys should look that red. <laughs> It smells of vinegar. That's all. Yeah. Vinegar. <laughs> I feel like my proportional of. It tastes like really it's long palm, the dish of ginger and black vinegar, right? You just took that and pour over. <laughs> okay, it smells appealing. I feel like your one really pay this, not bad. Huh. Cause this one is very light, right? But this one is like lao <laughs> kanma. Okay, now that we're done with the steamboat mm. segment, right? Let's go to the cooked food section. Okay. So it's quite interesting. They have like both Korean and Japanese stuff. The Japanese stuff are like the candied sweet potato mm. and the nanban chicken. Yeah. Korean side, they have the kimchi pancake, yeah. the japchae and the topoki. Topoki. And we also have two dishes which is from their dinner time menu and these are also available on weekends. So it's the salted egg yolk popcorn chicken and also the honey soy chicken wing. Let's try all of them and then we'll talk about what we like the best. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Honey, honey soy, soy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like the batter is really crunchy, even though we have left it out for quite a while. Mm. And the sauce is really sticky, so it coats the entire chicken wing with that sweet yet salty sauce. Yeah, and it's juicy as well. Mm. Yeah, really good dish. Overall, I feel like this place is really different from like Hai Di Lao or other hot pot places. There's both cooked food and steamboat ingredients. And also like there's a fusion of food. You get Japanese, Korean, Singaporean. It's much more affordable mm. and if you are the kind who like to eat until you like feel like vomiting and something. You know, just eat and eat and eat a lot, right? I think here is a better bang for your buck. Okay, so we're done eating. So full. You still got room now? No oh, yeah, why you have? <laughs> <laughs> there's something about Tampanese, right, that you have to know. Tampanese right, has almost every single bubble tea brand in Singapore. And we're gonna go to the newest one that's open. Okay. You know Singfu Tang? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it newly opened here, so you oh. wanna go try I haven't tried it before, also, but I've heard a lot of good reviews on it. Yeah. <laughs> but all this food, how? You all come here and eat, la, okay? Then we go yeah, buy bubble tea. You all eat. <laughs> you okay. okay, bye bye. See you all. Oh, it's so warm still eh. You try this one. This is the this is a normal signature. One, right? <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, I saw one, I saw one. Oh my god. Wow, it the nice. The pearl is like next level soft mm. and chewy. Mm. And the brown sugar is damn nice. Mm. See, I tell you, Japanese got so many nice things already, right? Hana Hana, you also got two Hana, right? Even write a review on yeah. them before. <laughs> you also have the Go Ang Pratunam Chicken Rice, the uh -huh. Michelin Beat Gorman one. Uh -huh. Wait, still got more. Tea House by Soup Restaurant. Okay. And also this Jeju Kitchen. Like, uh -huh. I don't think I see them in the West, you know. That's why I always come here to eat, like, with my friends or family. Because mm. there's so much stuff anyway. So, glad that I got to bring you here. Thank you for showing me around the two malls. <laughs> Ellie, <laughs> yes. how was your experience with all these hot pot hacks? Okay, I feel like if it doesn't require much effort and it really saves me money, right? I don't mind it. Like but I think it's not bad. I think it's fun to try like once in a while. It was a bit eye-opening because when I eat hot pot last time, mm. right? I don't play and like get creative. <laughs> so I just like, we just like dump our food inside water yeah. and then we eat when it's cooked. Uh -huh. So today it was actually very fun for me. Wow. Eh. Oh, and the whole hot pot experience today really brings out the Chinese New Year mood for me today. Yeah, you know? I don't know why, right? I always relate like hot pot to Chinese New Year. Like, I feel very like festive and like I love gathering with friends and family la, to eat. So thank you, Asia Mall, for making this video possible. They have a wide variety of eateries that are great for both family and friends. So come down to Tampanese One or Century Square if you're looking for somewhere to feast this Chinese New Year. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this kind of video, you can catch more over there. And you can like, share and subscribe. 
Bye. Uh, comment in the comment section down below if I if you want me to bring Ellie to the West. Uh, east side, west side forever. Bye. I love you.